We have a new mirror design. Better sight lines, better aerodynamics, better performance overall. On top of that, we added a drop glass. There's a lot of fixed infrastructure, whether it's gate operations or interacting with a port or a telecom. These will make drivers' lives easier. A few weeks ago, the semi-assembly team at Giga Nevada wrapped up production on the final 32 first-gen Tesla semis. They're now gradually making their way into the hands of priority customers of Tesla. While early adopters are giving positive feedback on the transition to using electric Class 8 trucks, many have pointed out that these Tesla semis still fear the cold and are only best suited for short-range urban routes. That's about to change. Recently, at the Tesla Semi factory, over 1,000 new engineers and workers were added to the production line, all fully prepared to assemble the second-generation Tesla Semi, featuring an all-new battery system, a redesigned headlight setup, and 18 other wild upgrades developed by the Semi team over years of beta testing. These new Semi units are expected to launch in October, with a planned production capacity of 50,000 vehicles per year during the ramp-up phase, starting in late 2025, and continuing through 2026. So, what does the Tesla Semi Gen 2 really look like? And is its new price justified by the design and features it offers? Welcome to Tesla Car World. So, how does the new Tesla Semi Gen 2 price break consumer expectations? Among all of Tesla's electric vehicles, if there's one that truly seems to defy the laws of physics, it has to be the Tesla Semi. Typically, a Semi truck weighing up to 80,000 pounds would be expected to perform poorly. That's why electric trucks have long been met with skepticism from industry experts. The main reason lies in the design. Electric trucks require massive heavy batteries to meet the demands of long-haul freight transportation. Many have argued that batteries simply can't deliver energy efficiently enough for such durable long-distance vehicles. However, Elon Musk didn't hold back in his rebuttal. He boldly claimed that heavy-duty engines can run on batteries. For the first time in history, an electric truck can travel up to 500 miles fully loaded and up to 800 miles when empty, while saving as much as 1 million gallons of diesel fuel, translating to roughly $3.5 million in operating costs. That's why Elon Musk has always called the Semi a money-making machine. Adoption of the Tesla Semi hasn't come without hesitation. The sky-high price tag may be a barrier for mid-sized carriers, yet major companies like PepsiCo, Walmart, and Cisco have already added the Semi to their pilot fleets, drawn in by its reliability and the promise of improved driver retention. Meanwhile, the race to build out charging infrastructure is heating up. Tesla's megacharger network is leading the charge, with plans for 1.2 megawatts VI4 stations and 46 public sites expected by 2027. This far outpaces third-party competitors and helps ease charging concerns for fleet operators, while traditional diesel truck makers are also feeling the pressure. Legacy OEMs like Daimler and Volvo are accelerating their own electric truck params, but none can currently match Tesla in terms of projected production scale or its vertical integration across batteries, power electronics, and charging systems. When Tesla first unveiled the Semi in November 2017, the company confidently quoted $150,000 for the 300-mile version and $180,000 for the 500-mile variant, while the exclusive Founder Series carried a $200,000 price tag, figures that undercut typical Class 8 diesel rigs and sparked excitement about an electric haulage revolution. Those early manufacturers suggested retail prices positioned the semi as both an environmental leap and a smart financial choice promising fleet operators fuel savings of 20 cents per mile and a clear lifetime cost advantage over diesel counterparts. Fast forward eight years, and, while global inflation and battery innovation have shifted the sticker price, they've also enhanced performance, reliability, and long-term savings in ways few anticipated. Take the recent Rider pilot program. They initially planned to deploy 42 semis but refined their order to 18, after seeing updated cost projections near $400,000 per truck. At first glance, that huge number feels daunting, but it reflects not only higher material costs, but also Tesla's cutting-edge battery chemistry, tri-motor efficiency, and an integrated charging ecosystem designed to minimize downtime and maintenance calls. 
Viewing that $415,000 figure purely as an upfront expense misses the bigger picture. These trucks are engineered to slash operational costs and unlock savings over their entire service life. Inside Tesla's own planning documents now circulating online, we see a mass production bomb floor of $250,000 to $300,000. Again, it's tempting to compare that to the $150,000 and $180,000 promise of 2017. But remember, this new baseline buys fleets advanced aerodynamics, on-route megacharger access, and features like electric power takeoff that eliminate auxiliary diesel generators. In real-world terms, you're investing in a vehicle that pays you back while on the road. Central to Tesla's pitch is total cost of ownership, TCO. A Tesla Semi that uses 1.6 kilowatt hours of electricity per mile at an average electricity cost of 8.32 cents per kilowatt hour results in a fuel cost of approximately 13.3 cents per mile. In comparison, a diesel truck currently costs around 44.7 cents per mile to operate. The difference between the two is about 31.4 cents per mile translates to roughly $314,000 in savings over 1 million miles. Layer in a conservative 15% maintenance reduction. For example, 15 cents per mile compared to 20 cents per mile on diesel, and you gain another $7,500 per year for a medium-duty route, speeding up payback. Imagine a mid-sized carrier running four 500-mile routes daily. Annual energy costs drop from $67,000 on diesel to under $20,000 with a semi freeing up over $45,000 each year. Paired with streamlined servicing and Tesla's over-the-air updates, that investment begins to look like a strategic asset rather than a cost burden. Even a 5.5-year payback on a $300,000 premium sits comfortably against typical seven-year truck cycles, especially as electricity prices continue trending downward. And to fully realize the Tesla Semi's optimized investment thesis, Tesla is simultaneously building the charging backbone needed to unlock its long-term savings. On July 29, 2025, Tesla activated a dedicated megacharger bay at PepsiCo's Denver facility, ensuring Frito-Lay's pilot fleet can recharge quickly between runs. In California, PepsiCo and Frito-Lay have secured permits to install eight more semi-specific chargers at their Bakersfield plant, eliminating range anxiety on high-throughput routes. Beyond corporate sites, Tesla is completing its first public megacharger station at 1930,000 South Hamilton Avenue in Carson, strategically positioned near the Port of Long Beach to support heavy haul corridors. These customer and community-facing deployments are just the beginning. At the ACT Expo in April, Tesla announced a network of 46 megacharger locations across the U.S. by early 2027, creating a contiguous charging grid that parallels diesel refueling hubs. With ultra-fast 1.2 megawatt charging posts at both private depots and public stops, fleet operators can plan predictable routes and minimize idle time. Coupled with the semi's lower energy cost per mile and reduced maintenance, this expanding infrastructure turns a higher upfront price into a seamless cost-efficient operation, transforming sticker shock into strategic advantage. What are the 18 insane upgrades Tesla is developing for the Semi? The Tesla Semi has always made a bold impression with its beast-like performance, but Tesla clearly isn't stopping there. All current Semi trucks are prototype versions delivered to a select group of customers for testing and data collection before Tesla finalizes the design and begins mass production at its new factory. Recent leaks suggest that the Tesla Semi is about to undergo some major design changes, particularly in the headlights, hinting at the upcoming launch of Tesla Semi version 2. We understand that some of these changes may be controversial, but many customers are likely to welcome them. So far, only around 500 units have been produced. Half have been delivered to customers, while the remaining half are retained by Tesla for internal use. One of the main reasons behind the delay in full-scale production is the need to gather real-world data from customers. Tesla is requiring feedback from PepsiCo and other early pilot partners during a minimum two-year trial period before locking in the final production design of the truck. The testing phase not only helps Tesla fine-tune the design, 
but also serves as a crucial opportunity to evaluate the Tesla Semi's performance under real-world operating conditions. The data collected from major customers like PepsiCo provides valuable insights into how the truck performs outside of controlled environments. So even though the Tesla Semi was unveiled a few years ago, mass production hasn't begun yet because Tesla is still waiting on customer feedback before making final adjustments. Naturally, no one would be reckless enough to mass produce a vehicle that hasn't been fully developed. It would be riddled with issues. That's why, as the Semi's production facility nears completion and the trial phase with logistics companies comes to a close, Tesla has revealed several changes to the Semi compared to the original prototype. We believe the updated design looks modern and aligns well with Tesla's current design language. We're hopeful that the upgraded version will look like this, because in our view, the Semi looks significantly better with the LED light bar than it does with the current headlight setup. We're genuinely excited to learn more about Tesla Semi version 2. And it's not just about the headlights. Dan Priestley has confirmed that several other elements will be refreshed as well. We believe there are still many more changes Tesla is working on that have yet to be revealed. What we've seen so far is just the beginning, and it's clear that Tesla is keeping plenty of upgrades under wraps. One notable point, though not officially announced, is that there are growing signs Tesla Semi Generation 2 may be launching soon. Dan Priestley has shared that Tesla plans to introduce a new electric truck model with a sleeper cab, allowing drivers to handle long-haul deliveries with greater comfort. However, the release of this version still depends on the progress of Tesla's new factory and the rollout of its megacharger stations. This more premium model is expected to be built at the new facility since Giga Nevada currently only has the capacity to produce prototype versions of the Tesla Semi. At the moment, the Tesla Semi still uses 2170 battery cells with a total capacity of 900 kilowatt hours, but a transition to a new battery type is on the horizon. The new 4680 battery cells are expected to replace the 2170 cells currently powering the heavy-duty trucks. You might not know that the factory expansion in Nevada has been fast-tracked, According to reports, two new production facilities will be built as part of the expansion, one dedicated to manufacturing 4,680 format battery cells with an annual capacity of 100 gigawatt hours and another for mass producing the Tesla semi-electric truck. It's hard to imagine that the Tesla semi wouldn't eventually use battery cells produced at the same site, especially since doing so would offer Tesla significant cost advantages. Moreover, the Semi has already faced long delays while waiting for the 4680 cells to become available, which may explain why only around 100 trucks were produced between 2022 and 2023. According to Tesla, the availability of 4680 cells is now increasing, which could be great news for the electric truck program. Don't get us wrong, we fully expect the Tesla Semi to transition to 4680 batteries soon, but it likely won't happen overnight. The trucks currently being built at Giga Nevada are still using 2170 cells. And if our assumptions are correct, once the dedicated semi-factory is completed and Generation 2 goes into production, the trucks will be equipped with 4680 batteries. The 4680 battery is a much better fit for Class 8 trucks than the 2170 cell, not just due to its improved performance, but also because of the enhanced safety benefits. With an advanced design that allows for superior thermal management, it dissipates heat more effectively and reduces the risk of thermal runaway, a dangerous condition that can lead to fires or explosions when a battery overheats. The tabless design of the 4680 battery not only reduces internal resistance, but also enhances thermal control, making it safer when operating under high performance. Its larger size allows the 4680 cells to be integrated directly into the vehicle structure improving both durability and crash resistance. This is especially critical for trucks like the Tesla Semi, where safety and performance are key priorities. With the 4680 battery, the Tesla Semi not only achieves greater range, but also provides greater peace of mind when it comes to safety, ready to meet the demanding needs of future freight transport. However, it's clear that battery safety alone doesn't determine the overall safety of an electric truck. Driver behavior also plays a major role. In reality, even the least safe lithium-ion batteries cannot cause fires or explosions without some form of collision. 
in a recent fire incident, although it's still unclear whether the driver fell asleep or lost control, it was evident that something was missing from the Tesla Semi. That's right, it was full self-driving capability. The good news is that Tesla is actively preparing to integrate full self-driving into the Semi, as recent footage has shown. Tesla's Semi doesn't just look futuristic, it's a masterclass in aerodynamic engineering. Early prototypes already boasted an impressive drag coefficient of 0.36, more than 30% lower than a typical Class 8 diesel truck, around 0.5 to 0.6. That alone translates to roughly 10% fuel savings on highways. For the production model, Tesla has refined every contour. Fully sealed wheel covers eliminate turbulent air pockets around the tires. A smoother undertray prevents airflow separation beneath the chassis. And retractable side skirts bridge the gap between tractor and trailer, cutting wake drag by up to 20% versus a rig with generic side panels. To put this in perspective, traditional trucks with flat underruns see seed spikes to 0.65 and crosswinds, meaning the semi slices through air with nearly half the resistance, boosting range and reducing energy consumption in real-world conditions. Underneath that sleek shell lies a tri-motor powertrain married to Tesla's latest battery chemistry breakthroughs. Retaining its three-motor layout for robust torque delivery, the Semi's production version uses next-generation cells that enable a 7% efficiency gain over trial packs, thanks to higher energy density and lower internal resistance. In practice, the 300-mile and 500-mile variants now consume under 1.85 kilowatt hours per mile, even when fully loaded comparable to a light duty EV, while diesel competitors burn through 50 to 60 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers, is approximately equal to 1.8 kilowatt hours of energy consumption for every mile traveled at similar loads. Moreover, by reducing total battery mass, Tesla lightens the truck by several hundred kilograms, further improving payload capacity and handling. Inside the cab, Tesla flips conventional ergonomics on its head with a driver-centric cockpit. The seat is centered, offering equal visibility down both sides of the highway and eliminating the off-center perspective of traditional left-side driving. Dual 15-inch touchscreens flank the steering column, consolidating vehicle data, navigation, and telematics into intuitive, context-sensitive displays. No more toggling between gauges and infotainment menus. A panoramic drop glass door on the passenger side swings open for effortless cargo checks at stopovers, replacing the need to clamber down and around the cab. The optional heads-up display projects critical route guidance directly onto the windshield, slashing glance-away times and contributing to a projected 15% reduction in driver fatigue over long hauls. Will Tesla's planned network of 46 megacharger stations by 2027 genuinely meet long-haul trucking needs? Or is the company painting a picture of perfect infrastructure that remains out of reach for most transport fleets? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Do See Tesla Car World and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.